A Sikorsky Boeing team has submitted its Defiant X rotorcraft proposal early for the U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft program. The bid comes as flight testing continues on the team's SB-1 Defiant demonstrator, a compound coaxial helicopter upon which the proposed Defiant X is based, the company said on September 7. Data already gathered from the SB-1's flight testing regime was included in the team's proposal to the U.S. Army. The Sikorsky Boeing team did not say why it chose to submit the future long-range assault aircraft proposal early. The SB-1 did not fly until 2019, due to issues with its composite rotor blade manufacturing process and transmission gears. The Defiant X is competing against Bell's V280 Valor, a tilt rotor that wrapped up 3.5 years of flight testing in June. Bell has yet to announce the submission of its proposal. While the V280 has a higher maximum cruise speed, the Sikorsky Boeing team emphasizes the Defiant X's performance during landing and takeoff. Defiant X delivers speed where it matters, survivability, unsurpassed power, maneuverability, superior handling in any environment and lower life cycle costs, while operating in the same footprint as the Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk, say the companies. Future long-range assault aircraft is intended to be a utility rotorcraft replacement for the Black Hawk. The service wants the next-generation rotorcraft to have a maximum cruise speed of 280 knots, or 519 kilometers per hour. It also wants the aircraft to have an unrefueled combat radius of 300 nanometers 556 kilometers, and a one-way unrefueled range of at least 2,440 nanometers. The Defiant X closely resembles the SB-1 demonstrator, although the Sikorsky Boeing team unveiled in January a few subtle changes to its shape. The proposed helicopter's exhaust outlets are covered with a shroud to reduce its infrared signature, a precaution against infrared homing missiles. While the SB-1 has two midsection wheels and a tail wheel, the Defiant X has a nose wheel, two midsection wheels, and a small wheel under the tail. The trailing edge of the vertical stabilizers on the SB-1 was straight, but has been changed to a V-shape on the Defiant X. The U.S. Army is expected to issue a production contract for future long-range assault aircraft in 2022. It wants to field its first example of the utility rotorcraft no later than 2030.